Hello, I'm Ian, you're watching Pixels at Dawn, and this is ATV Simulator. ATV Simulator's a side-on driving skill game, I suppose you could call it. It's by Codemasters, and they were pretty well known for their simulator games back in the day, before they got into their action adventures like Dizzy and Seymour and all that stuff. So I'm not going to go into it too much, let's just jump straight in and you can see for yourselves. As you can tell, the music's a little bit uh, whiny 8-bit, but it's it does the job. So trail number one, sand dunning. Here we go. So it's all about driving left to right, getting a bit of acceleration, managing your speed, getting over the obstacles without crashing horribly, which I'm sure to do sooner rather than later. So you've also got a jump to help you to get over obstacles, and also to give yourself mad, mad air, <laughs> as they like to say. So the game does have a multiplayer mode. It's a two-player split screen. You can nudge people off the keyboard while they're trying to get over the difficult obstacles. It's all good fun. And across the line. So one of my little mini-games that I try to play in this game is to pull the bike back to the left, just at the right moment at the end, to keep myself a nice, frozen, cool pose right at the end. Trail number two is grass tracking. It's very green. So this game's quite like the old Kickstarter games, if you know those. It's all about negotiating the course and not screwing up. Uh, uh, oh, 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 nice. I'm doing all right here. Well, I was. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Some say he likes to play old Spectrum games. All we know is he's called the 8-Bit Stick. <laughs> does look quite like that, doesn't it? Uh, so, first few levels are pretty straightforward. It very rapidly gets more difficult. There we go. Cool pose. So I hope you enjoy the... <laughs> end of level noise which is so ear piercing and if you do better you get more of it <laughs> i don't know what possessed them <laughs> it's very odd i used to play this all the time when i was a kid oh oh god icebergs icebergs is hard it's the first time you run into uh enemies which are trying to knock you off your bike yeah it's not just obstacles which are hard enough as, is, as you can see it's uh it's just things that are quite happy to knock you off your bike it's not very polite is it so all the sound might not blow you away, the, the graphics are pretty nice for a Spectrum game. See, it's a seal with a ball, you know, just like you get in the Arctic. There we go. Sometimes it's just nice to hit the obstacle just right to flip yourself over. I wouldn't say it's skill, but I'll take it. There we go. Oop. So you don't want to get stuck on top of things like that, because if you your bike gets stuck on top of something and you're at the bottom, actually negotiating the scenery to get back up is hard. Really hard. So if you don't believe that this is actually one of my favourite games, maybe here's a little photo to dissuade you. Oh, Pyramids. Pyramids is one of my most hated levels because it's the only one which has a 40 second timer. So you can't really afford to screw up in the slightest. And it has some quite awkward obstacles. So tiny pyramids, because you know, Egypt and things. Camels in the background. Uh, a sphinx, which looks like a chubby Mother Teresa. More tiny pyramids. I'm doing alright here. I've obviously got the skills on today. Oh. Stuck in a rock. Right in front of the popcorn kernels. I swear they look like butter kissed popcorn. I've no idea what they're meant to be. Oh no, this could be a problem. Come on. And over that one. Right, the big pyramid. Hey. We're all good. We're all good. Nice. So if you like your retro games, and why wouldn't you? They're awesome. It's certainly our intention to play more, so why not drop us a sub? And all the old games will drop right into your sub box with no extra effort from yourselves. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Fun and sunshine, there's enough for everyone. Except there isn't fun and sunshine. There's logs and crocodiles and weird vulture things all ready to knock you off your bike. Come on, bounce off the heads of the crocodiles. So sue me, Petter. I don't care. So one of the things that the game does to sort of help you is uh, you'll notice the seconds aren't quite seconds. 
clock runs a little slower and it always has done. I uh, don't know what it is, but I'm not complaining. And that's not even the hardest things in this level. I don't think I'm going to be able to manage... Th oh, really? Really? Ah, oh, dear. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, here come the vultures. The problem you can get with some things like the vultures is if you crash your bike in the wrong way, they will get underneath the bike and then fly away with it. Um, just take it to the top of the screen where you can't get to it. Which is nice, you know? As if there weren't things to deal with already. Oh, dear. I'm running out of time here. Running out of time. Oh, dear. But through the magic of editing... Here we are at the end of the level. Fantastic. Let's pretend nothing happened there. So here, here we are at the last level, Swamp. Now, I'm not going to purport to get through this because it is horrendously hard. I have done it a couple of times in my whole life. But you never know. Maybe this will be a lucky day. Oh God, I've got some air myself there. Okay, so the uh, horrible obstacles here are the little, uh, the little whirlwind things, which just keep knocking you off, and you just have to brute force your way through. And they will steal your bike if you give them half a chance. It's a surprisingly short game, really, when you think about it. I mean, there's only six tracks, and rather disappointingly, when you finish the sixth track, it just loops you back around to the first one. Oh, well. <laughs> That's it, Ian. Screw up on the easy bit. <laughs> okay, what we got now? A crocodile and... Uh, no, no, bring my bike back. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Go, go, go. Not too much left to do. Come on, we can do it. Oh, I forgot about this bit. Rubbish. Come on. No, no. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the last obstacle. <laughs> Oh well, at least you got to see the game. It's uh, it's pretty good. I really enjoy it. It's one of my favourites. It's not a long game, but it is one that you play over and over again because you're trying to get through as best as you can, and every time you screw up in a different way. It's uh, it's one of those sorts of games, you know. So, there you go. If you enjoyed that, why not like, favourite, or subscribe to us? Drop us a comment. We'll happily give you a right talking to. Always got time for commenters. So, I've been in. This has been ATV Simulator. You've been watching Pixels at Dawn. And I'll see you next time.